Uh, hello everyone, uh, this is Don, or otherwise known as Kurokan here, just to provide a brief explanation on what happened this episode. Um, due to some audio troubles during uh, this week's recording of uh, Katawa Shoujo, near about the 17 minute mark in the episode, the audio gets a bit distorted. So, around then would probably be a good time to leave, and there's not going to be much edits from then on in. I'm still going to uh, put the episode up, just like all normal, uh, heavily edited it up until that part. So uh, I hope you enjoy what you are able to uh, hear properly, and uh, let's move on with the episode. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you got your pockies and flowers, because it's time for another episode of... Katawa Shoujo! We are about to see how this is going to proceed. Let's begin. All the... Good, good one. Good one. Uh, I mean, uh, sorry. Yes! <laughs> it's the... He's got it! Oh, God. There is hope. Oh, dear God. Uh, I feel like slapping myself for the... F oh, God. Ding! Oh, oh, pa. Pa. Full pause. I, looking at her face, though, she doesn't seem the least bit put off by it. Oh, God. If I was, if I was in her shoes, I'd just laugh. I see. Oh, buddy. <laughs> my, my. There's no need to change her speech on my account. Oh, she's cool with it. Yeah, I mean, if you're a racist to everyone else, it doesn't mean you should change every time you meet someone. Hey, hey. <laughs> I will add the witty banter to my own character. Thank you. Sorry, <laughs> I I'm still in that Misha mode. Get out of here. You're not on the scene. <laughs> All right, fine. <laughs> uh, sure. Sorry, I guess. I'm really showing my newness here. Look how uncomfortable he looks. He, he knows he fucked up. <laughs> he knows. An environment like this would be a big change. So I can't fault you for it. Your poor choice of words. Uh, well, the same can't be said for everyone. Many have come to terms with their conditions. A category which would include her, it seems. All too ready to jump ship from this particular particular topic, I seek another. I seg into another. Segway. Segway. <laughs> Do you come here to drink tea often? It's a really nice place. Thinking on it, this might be her version of the place behind my school that I like to have lunch at. And yo, this is this is like the perfect like. If only this was the classroom. Cause look, the window. This is the club room right here. I'm feeling it, guys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I come here fairly often, during lunch times. My duties as class representative don't leave enough time for an official club. So a friend and I use this room for having tea. But oh. I'll go with this, even though I clearly see you're trying to change the subject. Over your poor choice of words earlier. Yeah, my bruise was seen so, so clearly. Oh god, I did it again. <laughs> <laughs> poor choice of words. Oh god. And guys, see, it's otaku tea time. They have tea after school. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Class representative, huh? Compared to Shizune, her mannerisms seem to be almost completely opposite. While Shizune <laughs> is blunt and fiercely driven, Lee seems relaxed and calm, almost aloof. And this is the kind of girl I can get behind. You know, so because she, she already can't see me. Huh? Uh, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> what? Moving <Going> on? <laughs> Come to think of it, she might be useful for a less biased view of the school's clubs. Yes! Sal has find found his way. I, he found I some swear voice to God, of reason. If she says like, oh yeah, please join the Braille Club. I am going to just be done with this recording. <laughs> yes. What kind of clubs are there to join? Save me. Hmm? The more popular ones are the track and field club, which use the field near the school during lunch times, the baseball club, and the book club in a room near the library. There are also numerous small ones too, though, such as the art club and music clubs. 
At a time when I'm just wanting to get on my feet, rushing to a club right away seems slightly unappealing. I wonder if the school shares the same rule as my old one. Is it compulsory <coughs> to join a club? It isn't, though it is encouraged. Hmm. Ah, good. That's a relief. You know, for someone with such poor word choice, I'm surprised he didn't go with the, uh, you know, word mandatory. N n notice he stepped his game up. <laughs> I really let down my guard around this girl and let such a thing slip out. The fact seems to slightly amuse her. Not wanting my tea to get cold, I finally started drinking it, as Lee does the same. That was some good shit! <laughs> wow. As I look over to the window over her shoulder, I notice the light coming into the room has a distinctly orange tint. Even here, time doesn't stand still. Huh, the time's gone quickly. Sorry? Oh, come on! Oh, God! <laughs> come on! What are you doing? What are you doing, man? Uh, Who is this man? <laughs> Whose man is this? <laughs> Right. She's blind. Of course she can't see the sun setting. Ah, <laughs> uh, <ee>, gosh! <laughs> Agnes is a goddamn asshole. <laughs> oh. It just looks like the sun's starting to set. Oh my god! You're so smart! Wow. Come on, man! What are you doing? Look how- why are you so smart after saying that? She's like, this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> just stop doing things, please. Stop existing, please. Seems to come, come as a surprise for her. I guess she must have lost track of the time. Sorry, Isabel. I didn't mean to keep you from the library for so long. I quickly moved to LA her concern. Oh no, it's okay. The library's still open, isn't it? Mm. Oh, she pauses and takes a moment to think on it. Sorry, I won't. <laughs> It's probably something I should have asked Izune when I had the chance. But Lily seems like to know it in any case. True. It's open until 6.30 during weekdays. See? A definitive answer! Oh, what, what? Since, apparently time has just gone by so quickly for you. Seriously, man, like, did, did this tea just... To just get put you through a time warp or something? Like, you're sitting there for a while. Hey man, I mean, look look how pretty she is. I'd be lost. I mean, good tea, I guess. Some and she good ass tea! <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Oh god. You, you, you can't spell time without tea! <laughs> I'll just go put myself in the trash where I belong with that one. <laughs> Thank you, heathen child. <sighs> Wow. <laughs> a quick glance at my watch confirms that I have well enough time to get there. Hey, uh, uh have you seen the- do you have the time? <laughs> Please get out. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, I might get going in that case. It's been nice talking with you, Lily. She smiles and gives a deep nod, her hands still neatly folded on the table in front of her. It was my pleasure. Oh, come to think of it, shall I show you to where the library is? I couldn't possibly ask for more help. I should be able to find it alright. Well, unless my navigation skills fail me. <laughs> Which they seem to You're have You're here doing. from your failing in navigational skills. <laughs> mm-hmm. Anyway, I don't think this is a failure. It's alright. I was going to be talking to the librarian, there in any case. I could introduce you. This gets better and better. It's pretty hard to deny her offer. If you're sure, then that'd be great. Thanks. As she stands up to follow me, she takes hold of a straight or tractable cane that had been slipped in the handle of her bag on the floor. Compared to the cane the boy in my class had, Lily's looks more thinner and longer. This must be for support, where Lily's is for navigation. She's like the Nami. Together, we leave the peaceful room and enter the empty hallway on the way to the library. Side by side, my pace carefully slows to match hers. We slowly walk through the hallway. 
It doesn't take long for us to arrive at the door to the warm-looking room, apparently situated in the center of the floor, rather than either wing. Wow. And this face again. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies first. She gives an appreciative smile at the gesture, taking the lead as we file in. The blind leading the dumb. Look at that. Misha, what are you still doing here? <laughs> Enough of those jokes. <laughs> okay. I'll stop. Jesus. To the left is the wooden library counter, with the library proper being on the right. It e easily dwarfs my old school's library with a distinct smell of old books, giving the place an almost old world air. There doesn't seem to be a lot of students here, considering the time. It isn't a big surprise. Everyone's probably either in the school grounds or the dorms. Yoko? Are you here? She says it to the thin air since the library doesn't seem to be pre the librarian doesn't seem to be present, and of course Lily can't see this. He's thinking it, guys. <laughs> don't worry. Yeah, yeah. What's unexpected is that it. Right. Okay. What's unexpected is that it draws a reaction. Oh. <laughs> Something from under the <laughs> counter thuds against it, followed by a quiet wail. Oh. Oh. <laughs> The origin, apparently the librarian, quickly crawls out and bounces up to extreme rigid attention. Oh, you can't. Oh, boy. Huh. No, I'll, t I'll take this one. Hi, hi Lily. How, how can I help you? Her voice is strained in a failing attempt to sound casual, and she's rubbing the back of her head. Good afternoon. What happened just now? I heard a strange song sound. Ding! <laughs> Hey, we're not counting mine. Oh. <laughs> Believe it, we are. I count Calvin's, you're getting counted. Whatever. It's nothing. I just hit my head. See? I dropped an eraser under my desk, and while I was looking for it, a pencil dropped. And while I was looking for both of them, you came and surprised me. Mm, some more poor word choice at the beginning of that sentence. We can't just start skipping around words. Move on. <laughs> Are you alright? I'm sorry, I couldn't know. It's okay, it's okay. Sorry for making you worry. This is nothing. I've had worse happen to me. <laughs> She's quick to reverse Lily's apologies, almost frantically trying to push aside the possibility that she could be in any way inconvenienced by bashing her head on the counter. Yes, worse things have happened. <laughs> uh, do you want me to elaborate? Just... No. Just saying. <laughs> the girl fidgets with her fingers as Lily doesn't seem to drop her concerned expression and then shuffles some papers around the, co the counter for no reason. A little shorter than Lily, her replant with glasses, freckles, and a very troubled look, she seems to fit in a librarian perfectly. Ashley, if she was an anime character. Red hair, Ashley. Kinda. <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. Ah, Lily, did you get my message? Message? Mm hmm Oh! The two imported books. That arrived? Right, right! They finally came! I can't believe it took so long, but... I missed her celebrations, par partially for managing to change the topic, I'm sure. She noticed me from the corner of her eye and freezes on the spot when she does. Oh no! I'm sorry for not noticing you before! Did you need to check out a book? Or return one? I'm sorry, I'm sorry! The way she can so quickly shift between moods is a little unsettling. He's with me. Yoko, this is Asao, a new student. Asao, this is Yoko, the student librarian. Ding. <laughs> That's not a ding. I just pronounce it differently than you do. You said right. the student librarian. Oh, did I say student instead of school? Oh, okay. yes, you did. Oh, well. move on, Mister Up to Forty. <laughs> <laughs> Pleased to meet you. Hassau, right? Hassau. Pleased to meet you too, Hassau. For a second, she visibly attempts to engrave the name of her the, the name on her mind so she won't forget. Yoko often arranges to import foreign books in Braille for me. 
Would you like to tell us a little something about the library? Lily's innocent suggestion is met with an expression. Uh, Lily's innocent suggestion is met with Ding. an expression of abject <laughs> terror. I love how the theme for these episodes have just been who can make the ding sound the most. We will totally play a um, petty game over this if we have to. We can oh call it God. quits right now. <laughs> let's let's not be petty, okay? I'll stop being petty. Stop being petty. Good, good. Deal. I mean, we said that. I'll like, just be petty while I'm editing. You'll see. We all see. God damn. <laughs> be petty during editing. I will get you back. You know I will. Yeah, we'll see. Anyway. All right. I uh -huh. please, Lily. I can't. I don't know what he could be interested in. This is too much responsibility. I don't know how to deal with this. <laughs> how's it... How's... How it's any responsibility at all, I don't get. But her objection is so sincere that I don't doubt for a second that she'd rather disembowel herself on the spot than tell me where the light novels are. Well... Uh, <laughs> um... <laughs> mm. But... So, there are a lot of books in Braille here? I attempt to save the day by asking the first thing that pops into my head. It seems to work at least partially, as Yuko seems to not exactly relax, but at least look slightly less tense. Well, I think about a third or fourth of Yamaku- y Oh, God. Yamaku's library is either in Braille or audio. <laughs> Makes sense, given all the blind students that'd be here. If it's only that, how come this library is so big in the first place? Um, well, we get a lot of new books regularly because the library is adequately endowed. That's probably why. Hmm, you look pretty endowed yourself there. Oh my fucking god, I knew. <laughs> um, no, I, please, goodness. I knew you'd say it. I knew you'd say it. <laughs> I mean, who else but Dodge? <laughs> oh god. They spend more on new books than on my salary, and then I have to organize and shove all of them. It's so troublesome, and they weigh so much. I wish I could just quit this job. Very awkward silence uh, follows the re revelation of too much information. <laughs> like, Lily's just like, you, you poor, poor thing. <laughs> I'm so sorry you feel that way. Um, I'll go check the aisles then if you don't mind. It's probably best for all of us if she doesn't keep talking to me. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I, th I think we all know someone that awkward. Uh, I've ran. We've ran across those people. Mm -hmm. we, 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 we've dabbled. Very well. Meanwhile, Yoko, I would have those books if it's alright with you. Oh, uh, Mike, could you reread that, please? Uh, very well. Meanwhile, Yoko, I would have those books if it's alright with you. Thank you. You're welcome, buddy. My first impression was right. The library is surprisingly big. Don't big. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> Ambling down the narrow aisles, I studied the spines of the books in random order. Occasionally sliding one out to read the blurb. Taking it with me, if it looks good. In a few moments, I have a respectable stack of books in my arms. I guess I'll never be stuck for choices in here. The normality of the library sinks in. Sure, there are large prints and rail books scattered throughout, but it isn't what it is. A library. 
Is this the calm mood of the room I had tea with Lily and snuck with us in here? Unless it was here to begin with. Something about that puts me at ease, just like before. I reach the end of the aisles and find a collection of desks set up for study. A personal reading. Going a little further, I discover a nice quiet corner at the back. While the rest of the library is odd students sitting at a desk either reading or stealthily sleeping, the back is pretty much deserted. As I glance around, I see someone I recognize sitting on one of the several bean bags. <gasps> Aww. Hey. <laughs> it's the dark haired girl from my class. The one who snuck out of the classroom earlier. She's reading a book, keeping it close to her face, which makes her look like she's really into it. From the way she was acting today, that her peg is more of a link within a book one. In fact, her mysterious experience in class raises all sorts of wise in my head. Intrigue flows slowly but surely towards the surface, and before I know it, I'm walking towards the mysterious long haired girl. I guess there's no harm in introducing myself, as I move with anyone else, to the classmate after all. Walking over to another beanbag, I take a seat and lay my book beside it. The girl starts, looking scared up at me from underneath her fringe. It's the first time I've ever seen her up close. Underneath her long, dense bangs, I can see that part of her face, at least a third of it, if not a half, is really badly dark. My eyes are immediately drawn to the scars, so I'm constantly peeking past her hair and never meet her own eyes. For a second, I'm shocked and avert my eyes to the book in her hand. Before I realize that I've been looking away, it probably only makes it worse. It takes too many seconds to click myself, and I remember what I walked up to her for. Mm, okay. Mm. Um. Alright, choice time! And cut! Aww. I'm gonna just, we're gonna go to our answer. Alright. Dondre. Yes. But let's not do this again, man. We, we're, we're cool. Uh, <laughs> let's not play any games. We can do that with Calvin, though. Yeah, okay. We're, we're, we're hey, man. Right. Hey, also. Cool. Calvin, me and you jump on Dondre when we are on Misha and she's in it. Uh, she's in it. Uh, me, me and Dondre have it, but keep it all even. Okay, so, I mean, fair enough. Also, is it Yoko or Yuko? Yuko. Yeah, because so we're gonna go Yuko. So that pronounces Yuko. Yeah, Yuko? I I pronounce it Yuko. Ah, were there more were there more U's or K or O's? Were there more U's or O's? No, no, there were more U's. There were, there were more U's. We'll go Yuko. It, well, no, Yuko, Yuko. It, it's Yuko. Yuko. Let's go Yuko. Uh, anyway, okay. um, the decision but choice time. Um, Hi, I'm new here. Sound of Kai. We're in the same class. I, I'm gonna go. I want to go with the apology. That's what I mean. We're kind of. Yeah, I I think apology. I didn't mean to startle you. Please. Mm -hmm. All right. I didn't we're agreement. Yep. Yep. Ikuzo. Sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. Oh, Calvin. Calvin, okay. give me, Calvin, give me a dainty voice. Oh, Calvin's doing the song. Calvin, give me a Hanada impression. Let's go. Hang on, let me take a sip of water before I try this. This is so far away from Calvin's thing. <laughs> let me have this. You're just playing games. <laughs> I mean, this is, a, this is a game, you know, for our YouTube channel, that we're recording right now. Nope. Don't move words around, boy, you know what I'm not trying to say. <laughs> Calvin. Alright. It, it's okay. Oh boy. <laughs> this is gonna be a thing for the entire fucking play with her, is it? <laughs> but I've been looking forward to this character. Alright, here, Mike, you can get a crack at it, let me go back. It's... it's okay. Alright, Mike, you can have it. Yeah. Yay! I have it. Not, the, actually, the next two batch characters we meet will be perfect for Calvin, so we'll, we'll, you get Lillian into this one, and we'll go. The girl certainly doesn't look like it's okay. Violet, it's like. So, um, do you mind if I sit here? She seems to be very uncertain whether it's okay or not for me to sit, but finally she nods in just a little. Okay. I take the seat next to her and she hides herself behind her book. Life of Pi. Never heard of it. <laughs> Wasn't that movie with the guy who was like yes. on the yes. boat with a tiger? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Never heard of it. <laughs> so, er, sorry for startling you. I'm Sal. She looks up in the book, stalling a little before her blind. I know. 
We are in the same class. Same class. Your speech is still too. It's so quiet. It's very audible, even in the still library. Somehow I think that my delinquent impression of her was wrong. Hanako! I'm Hanako! I resist the urge to say that's a nice name. You just have something to say, but really it's the only thing I can think of. I feel like an idiot. Everyone here must be used to being different from each other, and here I am being all bothered and fussed and all that kind of thing. Yeah, being sensitive. <laughs> Fuck that. Mm -hmm. Don't interrupt your reading. I'll just check these books for a minute. She nods a little and a little sigh of relief. Sorry, I zoned out. <laughs> mm. So I tried to read the words, and then in the, in, in the introduction of the book is picked up, and she buries her face in her book. Uncomfortable silence consumes us. I hate that. I hate that so much. <laughs> My eyes still wander in her direction, and I sneak peeks at her flowing hair and the scars it's hiding. After a while, though, she's doing the same, and only pretending to burst in a life of pie. <laughs> her gaze is not inquisitive at all, though. It darts around like a scared rabbit. When her gaze is finally to meet, the game reacts unstoppable. She stands up forcefully with the beat back, take a deep breath. Oh. I. I. Uh, I. I. <laughs> I gotta go do something. <laughs> that one and knocks the tape off and runs towards the counter. Her hair like takeout catches me so off that I don't manage to go after her until she's a good head start away. Oh god. Until she has a good head start. Come on, I'm not about this character. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at that. By the time I reach the she's nowhere to be seen. Lily and Yuko are happily chatting away. The moment that I won't be able to catch an eye on myself, I approach the girls. Hey, did you see her? <laughs> Boy! <laughs> <laughs> Boy! <laughs> Okay, it wouldn't it have been funny if he hadn't tried to change his wording? Oh! <laughs> I would have totally let that one slide, but he had to help him. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, Such an ass. No, no, no. It, no, it wouldn't have been bad if he hadn't tried to change his wording. He should have just gone with it. He should have went with yeah. it. It would have been, yeah. would have been like better. Hang on. He could have said, "Did you see a girl run past here to the librarian?" and just said, "Like." Did you oh. see, you know, where she went to the blind girl? Or something! Anything! Oh, he, he should've just said, no! He should've done that at all. He should've just gone straight through his sentence. Mm -hmm. And just, I mean, just, it's just words. Should've just gone straight through. Yeah, and the correction just makes it bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> hey, did you see or notice a girl running past here? Maybe. <laughs> um, hey, what did she look like? <laughs> Long, dark hair, kind of shy. She had, well, some scars on her face. It's so awkward as hell, god damn it. Alright, you wouldn't be talking about Hanako, would you? Yeah, that's her. I saw her reading and tried to talk to her, but I think it scared her off or something. Oh dear. You go, would you excuse me? I better try and find her. I'll just hold on to these until you come back. Um, what's going on? I'm sorry, but I have to explain it to you some other time. Right. I'll see you later then. Lily hastily grabs her cane and hurries out of the library, leaving me alone with Yuko. I don't oh think boy. I'll ever get the hang of this place. Did I do something wrong? What did she do? Nothing! I was just looking for some books and then she got this fit and ran off. Mmm. I don't know, man. You did more than that. Hey, guys. <laughs> guys. You smell that? Yeah, I smell it too. Yep. That smells like some bullshit! <laughs> 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 the newest burger that you can. Oh, God. 
Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bullshit. Mm -mm. The most offending thing I can think of was that I might look at her general direction a few times. You know what her star is? Multiple times. You know, you're trying to leave it out the, the juicy bits there, boy. Yeah, I mean, dude, the only thing you could have done to make it worse was saying be prepared from the Lion King. Like, goddamn. Oh my god. <laughs> well, she's a very timid girl. Yeah, be very careful around her. She'd be very jumpy, I think. She's not accustomed to talking with other people. Kinda like how I am. I'm so lonely. Uh... Isn't that a bit... strange? I wonder... It's just how she is, I think. Yuko doesn't sound all that convincing. And again, maybe it's just the normal around here. Everyone has their own problems, or else they wouldn't be here. Oh my god, you suck dick! Dude, like... Honestly... You're he's not trying to me! I'm defending the I, character. Uh, I'm sure he's not a character. His inner thoughts are kind of making him sound like an asshole. Yeah, dude, I mean, like, a dick that's trying to be a dick is just, you know, petty and facetious and stuff. A dick that doesn't know he's being a dick is just naturally a dick. Look, just, he is the coolest person. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you can't help being clueless. You really can't. Okay. I mean, uh, uh, understandable. I actually thought of that, but he is still an asshole. <laughs> but Even okay. if he doesn't know, he's still an asshole. Jesus. Well, the main character has lost out, uh, so yep. that's just a little wrong. He's got, he's got none left. Wait, <laughs> mm. yeah. I gave up on him. I'm voicing him. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess I have to join I like the girls, but man, this pretender can go fuck himself. He's an asshole. But how should I? Well, how should I deal with? Oh god. But how should I deal with these people? Forcing myself to act all overly casual only makes me full of phony. Okay, I can get that. He's being genuine. Trying to be okay. genuine. Okay. I was supposed to be ignoring the elephant in the room. Okay, I can understand that. I guess. Kind of awkward. Like I said, clueless. <laughs> Yuko's face is looking like she wants to say something that I would resist it. Hey, I think it's an elephant only if you felt that way. Yeah, I was just about to say, like, in a in a school where everyone is, you know, stabled a certain way, and you're like, you know, you're trying to act like you're the most normal person here, you're the strange one here. Yeah, there we go! Alvin? Oh, get yourself a gold star! Oh. Yeah, yeah, good job, Kyle. Put a congratulatory ding right, right there for him. Just... Oh, oh, no, no, I'm, oh I'm breaking God. all the stops to this one. Here it goes. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that. I guess she doesn't have a good sense of self restraint. It makes me smile, and she blushes heavily. What? Did that sound stupid? No, no, it sounded really wise. I guess you're right. It's more about me than anyone else. Neither of us had anything to add, so you go fill the silence by sh shuffling some papers around. Did you shuffle, have papers shuffle. on your desk? Really like doing that. Shuffle, shuffle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, did you find any books? This should be closing soon. I mean, this library should be closing, but I had to do it. I hope that's not too inconvenient for you. Oh, yeah, I want some books, but I left them over there because... I'll just go get them. I fetched my stack of books from beside the beanbags from Kanako and I were sitting, and returned to the counter. Wow, you mean a lot, don't you? I surprised myself with that too, honestly. At least when I really think about it. I had a lot of free time earlier this year, so I just kind of started reading books to fill that time. I couldn't do much else. Hmm, I have a certain someone that's uh, in this uh, here recording. Hmm. Hmm. I'm sorry, what? Hmm. 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 Anyway. Calvary. Hey, hey Calvin. <laughs> 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 I see. But, Jen, she doesn't have anything else. 
She she doesn't say anything else and just checks out my books for me. I guess we'll take all fact. But yeah, our main character learns to have any. <laughs> Alrighty, and with that whole library scene done, I think this would be a great point to end it. Hi right, everybody, hope you enjoyed the video, and hopefully that's how I'll freaking learn to just cope with all of this. Anyway, right, we'll see you next time. I'll see you guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>